Alright guys, welcome back. Let's see uh if I can possibly beat this today. <coughs> uh. Oh man. Now that I knew what I was facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger. Like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were oh, normal. We've already seen this. <coughs> yeah, I can Jesus, why am I running all crooked? Completely forgot about what I was doing. Please, for the love of God, hit him. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. Don't hit those. God, don't hit those. Wow. Thought I heard something. Now, am I supposed to go this way? Oh yeah, just roll right past the big guy. Yeah, because I want to do it. Oh. Must have hurt him. these barrels before really I don't have some jump out at me. That would have. Serious? Okay, I think I'm not supposed to do that. Oh. That was kind of cool. Ah, the light. <coughs> oh, Christ. Okay, I was going to say, please don't tell me I got to go that way. Whoa, this is... I did not see that. What? Now you got me freaking out. I'm in a dark tunnel. I don't care, I don't care, I'm not looking. I hear chainsaw, just get to the end, stupid.
Really? Why the flare do that? down the hole? Dumbass. You did! It's light down there. God. Yeah. <gasps> I got to do that. Are you serious? <gasps> this game, man. I haven't played a game this weird. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? Doctor. Stop 
sanity. You're doing well. Keep going. It's hard to make sense of this place. It's a dream. This is a vast place. Home to forces and beings that are completely alien. The Dark Presence. Yes. I don't know what happened to it after your final encounter. Is there any way out of here? Sometimes transmissions can be sent between worlds. You've done this yourself. But to actually leave the dark place, I haven't found a way. Let's... Stucky's gas station. Not something I particularly wanted to see. Obviously I wasn't the one in the driver's seat. Another memory oh, made real. Blake would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In it, <coughs> his own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to. Yeah, dude. You still know it. Great. At least the lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. Nah, no, don't do nothing. Holy crap! I didn't know they were gonna be right there. Flare, flip. I hate when you. Well, I guess when you're getting hit, you can't use anything like. Another memory made I was trying to use my flare and it wouldn't Blake let me. Would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In it, ah, his there own we go. doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to. Okay, we're gonna run out here. Out At here. least the lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. Yeah. Asshole. Oh, you dumbass. Okay. okay. What a waste of all. Wow. <laughs> yeah, see, I just waste them all. That sucks. Back, stay back.
sound is creepy. Anything else? There was no power to the log lift. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Well, why isn't this? Hmm. Oh, there's a bridge, probably because I got a cross. Dumbass. Crazy. I had 20 of them. Can't believe I've already used nine. That's what I'm saying. Uh, jumping in this game sucks. God, all these dark corners. I don't like this. Oh, stay. No, don't leave. The part of you that is in control is in the cabin, dreaming and insane. I don't think I like that. You represent the part of Alan Wake that is capable of rational thought and planning, which is why I'm talking to you. If that part can regain control, then you have a chance of making it. But a part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait, are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. So there are two of me? Yes. And the one you called Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? I am not the author of your story. How can you say that when you wrote that page about me and the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was needed. And you needed the clicker. But I am not. What? I don't understand. Ellen, why is it you stopping? should keep going. Zane? Zane! Come on! Well, that cleared things up. on that.
man that didn't do nothing. thought of it, but it's kind of like I'm controlling the darkness against the darkness. A moment. I can help you here. mistake I made with Barbara. I'll get nervous and fall. That couldn't have been any better. Oh no! Oh, you're a pansy. Stop! Stop! Oh, that's creepy. Why do I hear running? He's gonna be around here, isn't he? What are those? The Eye of Mordor? Is that what those are? Why am I not having more fruit flash? Ask me. Hurts. Wake ran for the light. It was pointless. He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save him. That light Even is with the light gone, all I could do was keep going. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, come on. Don't make me have to jump. Please don't make me jump. Oh my <laughs> so frank here, really? Alan, and let me just oh. reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough. I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious. The car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor <laughs> impulse control. really funny to me. That's a dangerous combination, one which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Hartman, I... I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but, well, um... No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You've put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? You refused my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. Hmm. Why don't we find out? You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Why are you looking oh, at hey. me? That sounds like fun. Why are you both looking at me? Mm. All I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. I ate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand your pathetic, wealthy white male drama until my life consisted of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance and self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself. I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch! All you had to do was act like a loving human being for once in your life and stay with me. If your dramatic exit hadn't been more important than making sure I was all right, she would never have taken me. I don't know where you went, but that's okay. I don't want to know. I don't think I'll ever be all right. The only thing that keeps me from killing myself is the hope that I'll never see you again. Ouch. I... I just can't argue with that. I think I should stay here before I ruin what life she has left. I think this is a breakthrough, Alan. I'm really very proud of you. Yeah, no, that's... <coughs> not real. It she was wants... nonsense. I knew I'd saved her. I'd succeeded in that, and that was all that mattered. What I heard in there wasn't the truth. It was just another toxic mirage. 
It cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. hate when it does that. Whoa. Alright. I know it's safe, but I'll get to the more safe point. I gotta call it quits. Oh, jeez! Oh, come on. I should have Woo, get in there. What'd that say? Oh, the game. Goodbye. Oh, dang. Still want to. Does that like get rid of it and it's like the same ones coming right back? They're all stay back. I'm going to stop it here. Um, I really think I'm close to that. I can't remember this one at all, so um, I might be right there. But uh, if I have some extra time today, I'll try to do it so I can finish it because I'd like to start a um, another episode of game for you guys. So um, hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I will see you guys later.